An unwavering commitment to safety is at the heart of everything CF Industries does. It keeps our plants running efficiently. It ensures our customers have the products they need. And most importantly, it gets our people home safely at the end of each day. That's what the Stephen R. Wilson Excellence in Safety Award is all about. This is our way of recognizing those locations that strive for excellence by cultivating the very best safety practices and culture. Our commitment begins with a simple phrase, do it right. This means doing more than just avoiding injuries. It means our employees take charge of their well-being as well as that of their coworkers and community every day. Do It Right encourages a culture of safety excellence where all employees are engaged in the process, innovative in their approach, and empowered to do it right every time. That's exactly what this year's Wilson Award finalists have done. They demonstrated their commitment to safety innovation and to do it right. I manage the safety programs here at our site for operations, maintenance, contractors, day-to-day -day safety operations, ensuring that the paperwork is in place, ensuring we're following OSHA regulations. The FTRA started about 2012 to get our guys to look more in depth at each job. FTRA stands for Field Task Risk Assessment, and that's basically a look at a job prior to it beginning. Our operations and our maintenance at the time were doing separate FTRAs because they look at it at different aspects of the job. And we looked at the things we knew about, bolting, torquing, drains. We identified a lot of them, but we were still having some items come up that were safety issues. There was an ammonia exposure where we had a, a maintenance technician got an inhalation injury. The reason for the injury, there was some other hazards that were identified that we didn't identify through our maintenance uh, field test risk assessments. We were missing something by not communicating, not looking at everything as a whole. By 2014, we had adjusted our way of doing our FTRAs to where it was a joint effort between operations and maintenance, looking at the same FTRA paperwork and getting both sides of the job that they were both approaching. Now all maintenance witnesses that everything is cleaned up and ready to be worked on, depressured, everything's locked out. It was a big cultural change as far as the way we approached the FTRAs, but it was very easy after a short time to get the operations personnel and maintenance personnel to go with this form. And now it's like second nature. I think our wind might be a little high. We'll have to check it in the crane. Okay. Working together with maintenance, I feel that we can learn on how each other work. They know what we're doing and how they need to respond if we do have any kind of an emergency. All right, you good with what we did? Yes, sir. All right, good. The joint FTRA has had a big impact on safety because it has helped our guys bring their incident recordable rate down around 800% since its introduction. That's a big deal here at Woodward, but this idea of the communication piece between operations and maintenance has had a big impact on safety here. The operation and the maintenance side, there's a common understanding, and that's what we're trying to achieve. We do develop a pie chart off of our field test risk assessments, and we can go back and we can say, okay, we missed the fire hazard, or we missed the confined space hazard, and we can put them in the field test risk assessments going forward. Joint FTRA can be sustained through looking at our results every month, every quarter, seeing where we're at. This is an ever-evolving document. And so if you look at your data and evaluate your data, move forward with putting plans in place, it should be sustainable far in the future. Portability of the field test risk assessment is easily done, plants are plants and they have the same hazards and it can be transferred from one plant to another. It doesn't matter what plant it is. It would be a great honor to win this award for all the hard work that was done during this time, the safety record we had during this time. It would help recognize all the dedication our guys put into being safe every day and going home the same way they got here. We do it right. This is a big deal to Woodward. We need it. We deserve it. It can be here. CF Industries Woodward, we do it right. CF Industries couldn't be where it is today or where we want to be tomorrow 
without our people living a culture of safety excellence. As this year's Wilson Award finalists demonstrate, our culture of safety excellence is alive and well and getting stronger every day. At CF Industries, we do it right.